In many videos, you would have seen us testing lawnmowers, reviewing lawnmowers from ride-ons to zero turns to walk-behinds and to robotic mowers. But today we've got something a little bit different, which is actually a remote control 21 inch steel deck mower. Let's get it unboxed and see what we've got. Tested by Machinery Nation. The question is, is this going to be the next revolution of lawn mowing? Because we're very familiar with robotic mowers. When we were a machinery dealer, we dealt in Husqvarna, Segway, had experience with the stills and many other robotic mowers. Now this looks a bit like a robotic mower, but it isn't. It's remote control, so you can control it with a remote. You can sit in your deck chair and mow your lawn. Now, how's that different and why is that different and why would you want to do it? Because that's what we're going to find out in this video. Now, the company behind it is called Morator and they're making some big claims. Not only is it remote control, but it is also capable for slopes, collecting, leaf collecting, off-road capabilities and much more. So, without further ado, what do we have in here? That is the question. Now, most excitingly, compared to robot mowers, which this isn't exactly a robot mower, it has a grass bag, as you would with a rotary lawn mower. And there's your grass bag frame. And look at those wheels. Look at them. Chevron tractor tread style wheels. Now they do claim it can go off road. Right, and that's your grass bag, fabric grass bag. And there she is. Look at her. Wow. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm presuming that in here, yeah, the battery. That is the battery. Oh, another silica gel pad for my toolbox. Now let's pull that out. Oh, that is massive. Let's get her plugged in and charged. I'm going to bang this together and then we'll regroup. Now that only took about half an hour to put together. So quite impressive. As far as lawnmowers go, I can assure you some of them take a lot longer. You will put the grass box together, put the wheels on, and it's assembled. We haven't yet turned it on or tested it because here we have the controller, which I've got to say is nice and stylish. And well, it just looks like it's got everything you need on it. So yet to see if that's the case. You've got a good build quality right across the board on this. So press with the welding on the frame, everything looks like it where it should be. I have tested the height adjustment, which is very easy. The whole mower doesn't go up and down like it does on traditional mower. It actually allows the mower deck to go up and down individually. It's got a really big fat, bumper on the front which is really squidgy really like that it's got two stop buttons each side so you can go in and press that to stop it and again the traction on those wheels the cleated tires looks like it might be able to go anywhere so we're definitely going to test that let's get the battery put in it and the controller turned on and give this a go let's go mowing right so we just went and read the instructions on the piece of paper it came with and the pin code isn't on it and then we scanned the QR code to see where that take us. And it just took us to a promotional video. Obviously these guys are still in development. So I thought, well, do you know what? Let's try and guess it. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Zero, 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 zero. No. Nine, 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 nine. No. But eight, 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 eight. Work to treat. Pairing mode. Make sure your robot, oh, you can actually, it's actually touch screen. It's touch screen so you can slide up and down, look. Okay. Make sure your robot is powered on. How would you power it on? What is this? It's a good job I've got a clever cameraman. So I did press the on button. I just didn't hold it for long enough. And now we should be lit up. We are. We've got lights and a humming noise. Right, so before I engage the blades, I am going to take it for a test drive. Let's try it. Now, my experience of using remote control mowers is, you know, from one extreme to the other. I've had mowers, which I converted myself and built machines, which are remote control, including converting a ride-on mower into a remote control mower. And then I've also used manufacturer-made ones, which I'm much better at. So let's see where, oh, hello. I'm, I'm starting on slope. I should probably start on the flat, but we are, we're moving. We are moving. It's quite good. The keys on it are just forwards and stop. And you let go and it stops. And then the other one is just for steering. That is extremely um, intuitive. It does look like she's got two little eyes at the front. Just drove over a tennis ball. Right, I'm going I'm to stand in front of it, see what happens. It stopped. My hand is still on the trigger. There you go. One go, holding a hand on the trigger. And off it goes again. That's quite good. 
See if I can crash into the camera. Stopped. That wasn't me. Oh, we found a bone. Have we already killed something? Let's see if we can actually work out how to engage the blades now. So one, two, okay. Put the height down a bit. I think setting two for now. We're mowing. It is cutting my lawn. And the moss. I'm going to go down a height. Onto level one. And we are off. Let's speed it up a bit. Ha, now we're away. Look at this. I found the go-go juice. Right, so I could just go round in circles all day long because I am thoroughly enjoying that, I'll be honest. But it's got a feature on it which is called cruise control. So that means it goes up to the end of your line and then turns around exactly and follows back down the same line again. So we're going to try and give that a go. It might take a couple of attempts like that did just now. Now, if I press the button and press OK, she should turn right back round for me now to take back over again and come down the same line. Zero turning, as it were. And then the same again here. So, press that button, press OK. Look at that. It's extremely easy to keep in a straight line. This grass here tells me my grass box is apparently full. Let's see. So none of that heavy lugging about of your grass box, you can just drive it to where you need to go, or even a bit faster if you want to. And testing its off-road capabilities at the same time, look. Now my rater do make an option that has a hydraulic tipping grass bag. So you can do it from your deck chair, back on with your box, and off you go again. So how off-road is off-road? We're going to see now. Try and clam up over here. Oh no, we've already got wheel spin. Yeah, we're going to keep hammering at it. Ah! Yes! I think my wheels are now off the ground. To be fair, that is quite impressive. Unless you had a, like a ride on or something or a rough brush mower, then nothing else is going to tackle that. So I'm super impressed. But the reason we've come up here is to try and pick up some leaves. <laughs> and sticks and twigs. These leaves have been here since last autumn and now it's the spring, so did it pick up anything? Yeah, it did. Right, so I'd like to test this on a proper big lawn at some point, like in the late spring, early summer, when the grass is at its highest. We thought we'd bring it down here to the field to see how well it cuts longer grass to start with. And for that, we're going to take the grass box off and got on the highest setting. See how far she goes as well. Right, so I'm all the way up here. 
the mower at the bottom of my field. You can't see it. It's all the way down here. Right, so I'm just going to try it on a on middle setting, number three, on this longer grass. Look at that. That's cut. Nice finish. You'd probably get lower, but I don't want to. So, rougher stuff. Can it handle rougher stuff? This is last year's stinging nettles. All grown up, nice and dry, ready for us to cut. So there we have the Morator. I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a gimmick being a remote control lawnmower, but I can definitely see its purpose. Because for one, it is a machine you can use if you are perhaps less abled or disabled. You can sit back in your chair and mow your lawn. Like I said, they do a hydraulic option on the tipping back, so you could actually even reverse it back up to the corner and tip it without having to manually do that as well. So I think it's got a massive advantage in the market compared to others that are available. Now, would you go robot or would you go for a remote control machine? That is the big question. Because with a robot, you can make it do it automatically, but you might be someone who thinks, actually, I love technology, but I still wanna mow the lawn myself. Well, this is the answer for you. You can check out the links in the description below if you want to find out more about this product. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every single week about tools and machinery. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!